Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Firefly Tarot. So for this pick a card, we're going to be doing advice from spirit, but specifically on your current situation of interest or basically whatever advice you need to know in your highest good of a situation that's been bothering you. Um, so I, I recommend to clear your mind. Uh, if you do have something already intuitively you want the advice on, you can hold on to that question. But otherwise, it's just going to come through as the strongest advice it needs to right now. <clears throat> okay, and um, these are the four groups. I will show you each one. Before I start, I wanted to mention um, about the chakra healing. I've mentioned to you guys many times that I've been working on healing my chakras. If any of you happen to be dealing with chronic burnout and fatigue, I wanted to recommend doing what I did uh, recently, which really, really helped me. It was working on my solar plexus chakra. Um, I unblocked that a few days ago and I accidentally caused um, a disruption in my sleep, but hopefully that drops off today. I um, unblocked the solar plexus and I've, it, it helps so much to, re, to feel like I'm recharging my battery. So it, in case you guys have that struggle, I wanted to recommend for you to look into solar plexus chakra healing and uh, my video on chakras is below if you find that interesting. Uh, so that being said, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sleepy because of the the imbalance that happened there, so I might kind of screw up what I'm saying here today, but I'll do my best. So here are the four groups, and group number one, we have the Rose Quartz Bracelet. Group number two is the Seven Chakra Bracelet with the Lava Beads. Group number three, this is not a gemstone, this is just a wooden bracelet, I don't know what else to call it. Like a, maybe like a lucky one. And then the f group number four is Ruby in Zoocyte. Okay, so just go with your intuition. If you don't feel called, you don't have to watch it right now. But these are the four groups. Group number one, two, three, and four. And whenever you are ready, I will see you at your reading. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number one, which is Rose Quartz. So we're going to get the best advice for the most pressing issue that's going on right now for you. If you don't know what that is, it'll just come through. Advice from Spirit in your current situation. This is the Golden Tarot. Spirit, this reading is for group one. Our Rose Quartz group, can you please give us your best advice on their current situation, whatever they need to hear <clears throat> in their highest good okay spirit uh can you please give us a starting message what do we need to know first what is the first message just anything at all that group number one needs to hear at this time thank you okay so we have the queen of swords it does look like there's something that you're going to need to be extremely honest with yourself about now and into the near future. This is pertaining to the situation where maybe you've been thinking about it for a long time or trying to make some kind of a decision. And they they are indicating you know a lot about this already. You know the clarity even. You might even have a lot of the answers Um or, or maybe something like you know what's at stake. Um, if you are confused by something, all you really need to do is just take a day or two just to clear your mind. And if you are not sure how to do that, you can go into the air elements, you know, just go outside, clear your head, do some clearing activities, whether it's journal writing, meditating, anything to just clear that out. So kind of think of it if you're in a room and you open up the windows, you're trying to clear the energy. So that's that's what's the first thing that's being advised. Spirit, in terms of their actual situation, what is your advice now um, to take in their highest good? Is there some action that they need to take or anything to think about here? What is your advice for group one in their current situation? Thank you. Okay, so I don't know what the current situation is for all of you, but they are encouraging you to go towards 
the direction of something where it involves your strengths, your talents, your intellect, and to get away from the direction of something that's restricting or restraining you. Uh, especially if this has to do with some types of fears or doubts of yourself. So here, a lot of you could be dealing with a situation where you weren't sure if you should move forward in your path, whether it's towards a certain goal or just something in your personal development, perhaps. But they are encouraging you to move forward towards this. And it's actually a really strong encouragement. They're saying that there's no reason to hold yourself back and that that's just an illusion. Like if you start to do that. Because with the strength card here, they are indicating that you already have the talent. So if that's not resonating with your situation, they're also saying you already have the pieces that you need. They're making it clear that you already have within your capacity to move forward with this thing, especially if you felt stuck or if you felt just unable to or whatnot. Now, if, if you feel like that's not the case in terms of a practical sense, so for example, you know, it's like a financial thing or you need something with more of like the environmental piece, they're saying that that is going to come, but you do have to release these chains, which would be the fear, the doubt, the restriction, insecurity, stuff like that. And a lot of that can just be done with energy work, just like any kind of, um, positive affirmation and such uh what else do we need to know spirit what is your best advice for group number one on their current situation all right interesting so we have the hierophant and the death card hmm okay so the only other added piece to this because again if, it feels like you really do know or you can know what you're exactly what you're doing and it does seem like timing is is important here so with the hierophant card there is a chance that you still might need to work with the energies and the higher powers and, and whatever it is because it kind of looks like you're praying for something still now with the death card this can represent two things it can represent either a rebirth within yourself that needs to happen or a beginning of a new cycle in terms of your situation. So let's say that you want to do something next and you're just like, okay, wait, is it gonna work? Is it the right time? Um, either your rebirth and transformation is gonna come first and you're gonna be like, I know exactly what to do. I feel so much better now. Um, it, it could change within like a day. Like if you just wake up and you just feel better, that could happen first. If not, they're indicating something with the timing has to do with the ending of the previous cycle in some way. We have the world card at the bottom, which also talks about the ending of a cycle. So for example, like if you had something with like, um, like if you're in school, you would wait till the, the semester and then you would start like the new semester. If you're at a job, it's like you're waiting for a, um, a particular uh, probationary period to be over and then you start something fresh, you start a new project. If it's with an apartment, um, you, you're talking about renewing your lease or moving out, something like that. So they're, they're looking for a marker there. That's specifically what they're talking about, the death card, if that resonates. That is a practical matter right there. If that has nothing to do with your situation, again, this is something that is more going to be unlocked within yourself. Um, I do highly recommend... <clears throat> that you work with the higher energies because again i do think that you still need to seek and ask for something specific here and you will receive that but that is just the i think that's really the only little thing that you're gonna have to really remember here but other than that you're you're looking pretty good this is like 90 percent complete here you have they're kind of saying like 90 percent of the work is done or the task is completed energetically and this is the final part so this is really where you're going to see it come into alignment and just fall into place so what else do they need to know is there any other additional bigger advice or anything to look out for uh, in this message <clears throat> so this so that's that's your whole reading it was very short and sweet over here, we have Justice and we have the Emperor. Now, this is talking about possibly you or even someone near you, it, perhaps even the situation itself. Something was, it, it appears like something was waiting or someone was waiting for something to be balanced and fair and just in the situation because for a while it just wasn't panning out that way. Now, 
something could have shifted where that could be different now, where they are saying that maybe instead of waiting, um, what has to come next is you taking action or feeling confident enough and clear minded enough to be able to move that step forward. Right. So I, I would say for a while, maybe it was unfair or imbalanced or like off center because of some other things that energetically needed to happen. So whether there was a soul contract or someone else was involved with the situation and their energy took over, like something kind of was off about this, but it's okay because right now you're actually hitting the perfect point where it's at that exact cusp where it can now transform, like I said, okay? Um, definitely try to have a bit more confidence within yourself though. And if you don't, you will really, really soon. Um, be open to that because you are going to need confidence and strength to be able to move forward with this in all ways, in a practical sense, energetic sense, um, all of that needs to be there. Any other final messages about how this will turn out or anything else that they need to know, Spirit? <clears throat> So your final message we have here, the chariot and the four of wands. So we do see you moving forward and we do see a very positive outcome. Okay, highly positive outcome over here where it's going to benefit you and most likely whoever it is you're connected with. Um, even loosely, like whoever is involved with this, there's going to be a positive outcome. Um, the chariot, like I said, this is showing that you're moving forward, that it is... Um, the strong locomotive type of energy that's just moving forward. And with the Four of Wands, things are falling into place. Things are balancing. As I did mention before, the notion of balance, it's here again. You can see, you know, the, the two and two there. And then people are basically working together. There's fruitfulness. There's abundance. There's uh, all kinds of high frequency, positive energy coming through. And we're not seeing blockage. Before, that might have been different. Maybe a lot of waiting around. Maybe a lot of sadness, disappointment. But that is not the case anymore. Okay. Final message for them about anything. Okay, so your final message, we have the Hanged Man and the Knight of Cups. This is really not different than anything you've already heard, I'm assuming, but definitely just surrender. Completely try to go with the flow here. Try not to force it. Try not to overthink it. Don't overdo or anything like that. This is a very specific, delicate flow. Think of how inspiration tends to work and you just go with that. That's exactly what they're saying here. And the way to trigger that inspiration is that you have to really just surrender your fears, expectations. Um, just try to find a moment of peace so that you can unlock that energy. And then you'll just go with it after that. Okay. So again, pretty simple, uh, straight to the point message here group one i do hope that this made sense you can let me know below if this resonated for you um remember it's a general reading and if you'd like a personal reading the link is below and i've also put the link for my uh how to read tarot course which is uh, an online course that i'm going to be doing in may if you're interested okay so thank you guys so much sending you blessings and i will see you next time okay take care bye bye Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number two, which is the seven chakra bracelet. Um, this might end up being a kind of a brief reading, but let's see, Spirit, this reading is for group two. Please and thank you. What is your advice, Spirit, for them on their current situation, any pressing situation? The strongest advice that needs to come through today. Okay, so what is your starting message, please, for group two? This is the golden tarot, if I forgot to say that. So three of coins. There is an active collaborative energy going on right now, or there will be really soon for your situation. So basically it means that you, your guides, the people around you, like there's going to be something really working on this issue to solve it, to make it fair, to, you know, whatever it is, There, there's this active energy surrounding it. A lot of people, a lot of energies are behind this, okay? Spirit, what is your advice for them on their current situation? What do they need to hear? <clears throat> All right.
right, so um, the first message you're probably not going to be a fan of, but there is another one after it, okay? We have the High Priestess and the Four of Cups. This is a very clear indication to me that something is still beneath the surface that needs a little bit of time to come out, okay? So this probably is indicating that there is more information coming to you and or the situation. Now, you'll be pleased to know that it will come. It will birth itself, as you can see here with the Empress card. Something is being created. Something is being born, being developed. And in the near future, it, it, they're not saying exactly when, but the number three could be a hint. In the near future, this is going to blossom. So, um, oh, and we have the three of coins as well. So again, like the number three could be something there. It could be three days, three weeks. I don't even know if it's three months. It kind of depends, um, of course, on your current circumstances. But the advice is right here as well to continue to work with your guides, the people around you, and yourself. Okay, um, if you find that you're in a lot of inner conflict or conflict with whoever is involved in this situation, and even if it's environmental conflict, they're asking you to work with things. So with your guides, that's a little simpler. You can ask for help. You can ask for whatever you need. If you're trying to work with yourself, an environment, or another person, um, either this means there needs to be more positive energy, encouragement, or how to kind of basically navigate the situation. For example, like if it's a situational thing and you don't have the finances or the, in, the environmental pieces for some of what you're doing, try to work with what you have. Try to um, come up with like a creative solution where you can at least do a piece of what you wanted to do. You know, just, just work with what you have. Work with what's at your access. If it's involving another person, just try to see eye to eye at least on the little piece of what you're doing. So that one kind of depends, like I said. So um, going back to these two cards here, something is really unfolding very soon. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that you have to sit and wait for it. It's just a matter of more allowing it. Because <clears throat> you can see the high priestess, she is holding a book that has these straps and um, like it's locked. But something is unlocking. It's just a matter of... Um, you know, uh, with certain things, we cannot rush it. We just have to allow it. We have to let it fall into place, let it align. That's exactly what's happening here. But like I said, the joy is coming. The abundance is coming with the Empress card. So what else do they need to know about this situation, please? So with the Five of Cups, it might look right now like there's a disappointment and it's just really not going your way. Um, it, it does look like a lot of disappointment, okay, at this current time. And it might also be because you might think it's a pattern. You might feel like something has failed again because it did before, something like that. Please try not to fall into this trap. Um, this is an illusion and it very well even could be kind of like like a test of faith or of something else. Your guides kind of threw that in there. Um, they do tend to do that sometimes. But again, try not to throw, try not to um, get caught on this. And if someone's trying to give you some advice on the side, like saying, oh, no, it's going to get better, like you, you should probably listen to them is what they're saying as well. Um, because it's going to shift. That's all I can tell you. This, this is going to shift and really, really soon. But obviously, if there's a blockage to that, that could change the energy there. So really be careful. This is a form of energy work. Um, Spirit, what else do we need to know? What is their advice on their current situation that they need to hear? It's another piece of it is, um, <clears throat> this was just all a matter of balance as well. Um, that's really it. What you're actually in the midst of right now, what you're observing right now, is the way that energy and the universe works in alignment. That's exactly what this is. This is a very natural progression of energy and of life, what I'm seeing here. And if anything, you would probably benefit even more from just completely observing it. It's a very meditative thing to do. Um, this is not the time they're saying that this is not the time to take such drastic and direct actions in your more 
um, yang and king type of energy. This is this or like magician energy. This is time to be the high priestess. This is the feminine receptive energy. And they want you to be in this flow. Because honestly, group two, there's not a lot that you can do right now. Remember, there's so many different angles working on what's going on that you don't have to do much. Now, this is provided that you've already done a lot, and I think you have, and that is why we're seeing the Justice card here. Everything is just kind of coming into balance. Now, if you are finding that you're doing something and it's clashing with what they just said, that's probably why you're seeing Five of Cups energy, because there is a time and a place to do either or. There's a time for yin and time for yang, and what you are seeing is you're in you're, you're going to benefit greatly from just sitting back and letting things align that doesn't mean you're doing nothing necessarily but i do recommend within your energy to take your energy down into your center and 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 draw it back gently into your own spirit and instead try to rest and replenish and and um repair you know so think of it as like after a workout or after learning a new skill um, we have to reconcile all that information. We have to repair the muscles. We have to do this and that. That's exactly what this is. So this is not to say you're doing nothing. If you feel a resistance to sitting still, I highly recommend that you work on your root chakra to feel that stillness because what could happen is you, it might lead to a chronic problem where it, it's just like this repeating thing and it's just a matter of root chakra issue. So watch the video that I have for sh uh, chakra healing and I explain it there if you're interested. Final advice, final message for group number two on their situation. Anything else about how this is going to move forward? Yeah, yeah. So we saw the death card in the other uh, group as well. This is really looking like there is a rebirth, a powerful rebirth in the collective that was meant to happen this year. We're all kind of rebuilding. It looks like you're envisioning something new for the future. There's a visionary energy here where you're going to be collecting more, rebuilding more. It might feel sometimes like we're starting from scratch, but that, that I feel is a bit of an illusion. Um, because you, it's it, there's an illusion that like over here we, we're starting with, from nothing or with nothing, but that's really not the case because you have a whole foundation beneath you to build on um, as it stands now. But yeah, this rebirth energy is still in the midst. It's still it's still coming through. Final message about anything for group two. Thank you. Okay, so we have the hierophant. Pretty much it. Um, just trust. That's that's all. Just trust. If you find that you're doubtful or suspicious or mistrusting of, you know, life or the situation or whatever, try to tap into a sense of trust for the universe, the way that things work in this type of balance, for your guides, your angels, you know, divine. Uh, just try to reconnect so that you can feel that sense of trust. And again, you may need to work on the root chakra balancing because that it that has to do with it as well. Okay, so group two, I think that's all I have for you. Uh, I do hope that this made sense. I hope that it resonated. You can let me know below. Uh, remember, it's a general reading. If you'd like a personal one, the info is below. And I've also left the link for my online tarot course. I'll be starting in May if you'd like to sign up. Thank you guys so much. Sending you blessings and I will see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, which is the wooden bracelet. So let's take a look here. Spirits, this reading is for group number three. It's probably going to be a brief reading, by the way. I'll see. Uh, please and thank you, Spirit, for group three. What is your advice on their current situation? Any pressing situation? What is your best advice, highest good advice that they need to hear at this time? Group three, thank you. This is the golden tarot, if I forgot to say that. Spirit, what is your starting message? Okay. It looks like there's a significant amount of um, stress or worry or burden with this. Let's see. And the number three also could be involved here. So without getting into spirit's message my recommendation here for the three of swords being your first card regardless of what's causing this um it seems that the first piece of advice is to heal 
that that before anything can happen before your situation can unfold before your situation can become resolved you must focus on your own healing so maybe the situation is something like that maybe you were hurt maybe there's a stressor going on um it's interesting because this three of swords goes to number three the empress where it's a totally opposite energy there is a birth energy creative energy abundance energy um, it's also very nurturing as well. And it kind of feels a little bit like temperance, which is a healing card. Justice is indicating that this energy you're dealing with in your life right now and within yourself, it must first come into some state of balance. And they even said equilibrium. There needs to be some solid foundation beneath you and within you, within yourself now for anything to begin to make sense again. So what that means is basically it's like if you have swords in your heart, you know, you have to focus on removing those swords or, or dressing the wounds and nurturing the wounds. Nothing else can happen unless you take care of that first. So you do have to put yourself in your heart and your emotions first for a moment here. Um, and it doesn't have, you don't have to spend an extended period of time doing this. You can just give yourself a little bit of encouragement, self-love, self-compassion, maybe do some services if you need to. So for example, if you're physically wounded, go get yourself checked out. Like if you're emotionally struggling, you know, maybe get some help there, like whether it's therapy or, um, do some meditating, something where you're just addressing your own, heaviness or pains or whatever it is okay once you do that and give a little bit of that care towards the situation and yourself you will begin to see a shift in the energy and then it'll start to be able to change it won't change automatically but without this step the energy can't have space to change. So that that is a really big message here. And it might even be a warning for some of you too, um, because if you find that you're trying to take some unrelated action, well, seemingly unrelated, if you're trying to take some action that's outside of this, you might find that it really doesn't work and it's going to grow even more frustrated and you're going to probably, it, it's going to probably end in a negative way so this is why they're they're trying to stop you in your tracks this is a huge red light to me they're trying to stop you and say like just stop what you're doing right now like please address this whatever this is again if it's like if, if it's literally like a bleeding thing like we have to stop the bleeding we have to stop the bleeding heart or the injury or the whatever it is and take that time and, and try not to feel guilty about that either maybe i should leave those there spirit then what do, what do we need to know about their situation though the advice for their current situation <clears throat> what do they need to hear about their current situation i don't know if something funny is going on with this month um I got the Emperor card in all of the groups so far, and I was just wondering if it had to do with uh, the number four, the fact that we're in the fourth month now. So we have the Emperor, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Coins. This is an interesting development, group three. I am seeing you being very pleased with a decision that you're going to make. And this is most likely going to happen in May. I I, I don't know the timing exactly because it's like, they, they said specifically May. <clears throat> but the thing is, if you're not watching this in April, I suppose then it could be the following month. But I can't guarantee that because that seemed, that seemed very time specific. So I do see you being pleased by a decision that you're going to make that you just kind of went, you took one step forward with it. And you didn't really think about it logically. You thought about it intuitively. And, and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to go with this feeling. This is a gut feeling that I'm having. And I kind of thought about it for a little bit. It seemed like you were pulling back though. But something kind of shifts within you. Most likely you were nudged. Or, or rather, I should say you will be nudged by a guide in a very obvious way. And that's why this deck was meant for today look at the you see that right there the angel 
yeah, I think you're going to be nudged. And here it is over here. That I feel like that's the same being. It's a a flying creature of some kind right so you're going to be nudged in this direction and you're going it's going to fit with you it's going to fit with your intuition um you know you're probably even going to take it as a sign if you notice this you might not notice it but it'll still come as a uh, intuitive push uh so there's a decision you're making again please keep in mind you may not be aware of this at all just yet because this is a spontaneous kind of a feeling and a, and decision. So try not to think too hard into the future about this. This might come really as a surprise. Okay, so what is the advice? What do they need to know? The advice on their current situation, Spirit? Group three, cur uh, current situation, your best and highest good advice. And this card has also come up in all of the groups. I, I like to pay attention to that for collective themes, right? So I think that there is a this growing collective theme of really looking and looking to a higher power or the universe and really trusting within something. Here it does look like you're kind of having that intention where you're looking to somewhere else greater than you as uh, sort of what this feels like. But it also feels like you're in some sort of a daze, like confused <sighs> disoriented too okay and i and i mean it's you know it's understandable because of whatever was going on here but it is it is e evening out now as you can see there's not much advice going on it's more of like you have to orient yourself trust and then you will get nudged they're not telling me what this nudge is because everyone has a different situation but let's see is there anything we can know about the knight of cups the two of coins anything about this whole situation <clears throat> what do we need to know about the way it's going to outcome here? Five, okay, so we have two fives here. This is this is a very interesting message. What is there any final message here? Oh, I get it now. All right. Okay. So I'm going to throw this all together for you because that kind of hit me suddenly, just like I was mentioning. So we have the five of coins and the five of wands. It does look as though whatever you were dealing with, it might have felt like you had nothing for the situation or yourself. Um, scarcity or deprivation or feeling lost and left it in the cold. That's kind of what it felt like here. Then as the Five of Wands rolls in, honestly, it does look like there's still something that might look like it's a conflict in yourself or the situation, but this is not over yet. When you feel that intuitive nudge to make some kind of a decision, I want to give you a little warning here that this is not over. There could be something else that happens immediately after that initial decision, and it's probably going to sneak up on you. But there, it, like, if you feel finally satisfied and you're like, oh, okay, I, I did it or I, I made that decision, whatever it was, and you see that the results are like already still not working for you, there's actually a very good reason for this. So try to not worry too much and send yourself into this negative energy. This even could be a spiral energy. So be very careful. The reason that this is not over yet is because something is still forming in the background and within your own spiritual development there is a deep and very profound peaceful healing that needs to come through and it will come through um, now the timing here this is going to take just a little bit longer than that previous thing so th this feels really really relaxing it feels like almost like a vacation or something. I don't know if that has anything to do, but um, this this feels very loving and warm and um, hopeful. I do think that there will be some type of angelic or spirit guide in influence going on here. Something is really repairing, and this was meant to happen. Okay. Um, I actually think that when you initially make some sort of a decision here, 
it might have even felt a little bit what's the word um it might have felt a little bit impulsive and it just it wasn't necessarily the big picture that you needed to really uh, pay attention to like we have here this is happening regardless this is happening for i believe all of you if not all of you they said like a very high number like 95 percent automatically this is happening this is coming in where again it's like this beautiful warm healing energy what is going to happen immediately after this and this could take i the timing again i'm not sure but this could take a just a little bit longer than that ace of wands coming through this is really significant. This is like that torch looking thing in the rider deck where it's just like that giant wand. And now we have literally an angel here with the fire, the wall of fire, the wings, the um, the staff, and the there's like this book mysteriously flying open here. Something is really coming through. So let me just take a look at what that could be. Any advice on that or what else do they need to know? And look at that. We have King of Wands. So this is you coming into some sort of very powerful energy within yourself. And it's also going to affect the way that you see yourself too. This is a, a boost of confidence, of firepower. Um, and there's something having to do with a lot of creative ideas, the exchange of creative ideas. Um interestingly what i'm feeling for you guys's energy is that like how can i say i still feel like you like there's so much there's there's so much potential within you guys and it this is gonna keep going that this is really not the end game here in fact this feels like almost a uh, this feels like just the beginning really um, and it all had to start from over here with the um, the three of swords, but I, I am feeling a a huge leveling up though, regardless of whatever level you were in before. This is a significant level up where you're definitely going to be shedding old skins that were really false and inauthentic to who you are. Th this is this this is big. I don't even really have the words for it. This is quite significant. This is an obvious, noticeable change within your frequency, okay? So this is a lot. This is a lot to take in. And um, I don't know exactly how this is pertaining to your your physical three-dimensional situation, but this is way bigger than just that situation. This is all you. This is all your energy. And maybe now you can kind of see how your outer world was affected by this because this, the outer world is reflecting your inner energy your inner situation okay so final messages final advice spirit what do they need to know about this their current situation i think another thing that happened here or will happen is you're really opening up your heart space your heart chakra and there's a lot of firepower in there just like in terms of passion there's a lot there and and again there's like brilliant ideas coming up it's just so much all at once even though it is going to be slightly gradual but it's going to all still be very close together so your final message we have here strength and the four of coins I think with the four of coins, they said something like, don't hold yourself back. And with the strength card, just always look to sources of support. So first and foremost, your spirit guides, um, even being your own source of support by self-encouraging. Maybe you have pets, some of you. Um, but again, like close spirit guides or, or friends or like whoever or any source that you can. So they didn't really give a final, like, additional message because I think they got out everything that they needed to get out. Um, but this is th this is a lot of healing happening in one shot, like I said. So if you f if you feel kind of like in despair right now or just like it's too much, just really hang in there. You know, it is going to get better. And if you need some additional readings, you know, you can always look at my other pick of cards if you feel it's relevant. But, you know, just, just hang in there. This is going to be shifting for you. Okay, so I think group three, I'm going to leave it there. I do hope that this all made sense because I really was a little bit 
lost in some of like a confusion but yeah you can let me know below thank you guys so much um remember it's a general reading if you'd like a personal one the link is below and i've also left the link for my uh, online tarot course i'll be teaching in may if you're interested okay thank you guys so much sending you blessings and i will see you next time okay take care bye bye hey guys this is the reading for those of you who chose group number four which is the ruby in zoocyte. So this might end up being sort of a brief reading. Let's see. Here, this reading is for group number four. Please and thank you. What is your best advice for them on their current situation? Any current pressing situation, Spirit? Their, your best and highest good advice for group number four. Thank you. Spirit, what is your first message? Starting message. <clears throat> For group four. This is the golden tarot. I don't know what this means, but they said with the four of coins, something is going to show itself soon. Very mysterious message. Spirit, do you have anything to add to that? That's very ominous. <laughs> um, what does that mean? Oh, oh, nice. I love this. The other groups didn't have these at all. Um, so we have the Six of Wands and the Fool. Specifically, what's going to show itself soon. It's actually a positive, mysterious message. I wasn't sure. Um, they're indicating success with the start of something new. This is something probably totally new for most of you, if not like a good 80% of you. It's like something you've never tried before. You can never quite get it going before, whatever that was. But they are indicating that something is going to show itself soon for this particular path of your life. Even if that's not what you were thinking this reading had to do with, they're, they're talking about something like that um so six of wands um this is a very specific success and um sort of like praise uh from the divine or even people near you like some kind of development here where you you were able to do this you were able to achieve this especially um could have been on your own but i'm not really sure about that one <clears throat> and then here with the fool card like i said this is a new beginning this is a new chapter so it could have been a new project a new um goal a new uh, like a new anything really for for you guys um that was only a starting message so let's take a look at your actual advice on your pressing situation spirit what do we need to know what is their advice for their current situation what do they need to hear might be different now so i don't know let's find out okay that's kind of bizarre you guys you got the four of coins again, and you saw the way that I was shuffling. Am I am I just really, really tired right now? But that's kind of weird. Um, what on earth? Okay, let's do that again. Spirit, what, what else do they need to know? This is really wild. I'm going to take a minute to absorb what just happened. They said originally something is going to show itself soon. So, friends in group four, it's going to be really obvious, okay? really obvious and I suspect that something is gonna hit you in the face hopefully not literally um, but something is gonna fly in your face and really completely just take you like it's going to take you off guard and it's gonna make it so obvious okay I don't know what this is I think that it's something quite big in a sense that it is gonna affect your life in a really lasting positive way I don't, again, I don't know what this is involving, but everyone has a different vibe for that, right? Okay, <laughs> okay. So the advice I think that they're implying here is to listen to that sign. When something hits you in the face, you gotta listen to it. This has happened to me only a few times in my life in such a, dra like a dramatic way, and I definitely listen to it. Um, signs can happen in other smaller ways, kind of more subtle, more delicate but this is not going to be that this is going to be like extremely obvious to you okay so yeah try to be on the lookout for that you don't have to wait for it because you just gotta you know li live your life do your thing but yeah <laughs> okay any additional messages spirit <clears throat> Ok, 
Okay, so we have the tower. I do feel like there is going to be some significant transformation that is relevant here. However, I will point out that for a lot of you, this may have already passed. Okay, so if you feel, because everyone could feel differently about this, but if you feel recently that you have already gone through some intense transformation and even more than one, you 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 can rest easy like this is already it, it's it's already done with um others of you if you feel like that hasn't happened and you're actually wanting it to happen because for example you've been feeling stagnant or like you know it could be like depressed or just like really blocked this tower energy uh should be coming in soon like because it other it, it, either it already passed or it's coming in soon so you know how it goes with energy um but yeah it it does look like they also wanted to mention something about releasing something. That's usually what I think the message is. They talk about releasing a lot. It looks like there's a few things going on in this card. Number one, it does look like you're releasing and surrendering. That's always needed. That's always good because it helps us to release our burdens. Number two, I think what's happening is you're unlocking a higher power within yourself, a higher knowledge within yourself, could be one of your chakras, could be something you're doing meditatively and spiritually that is opening up or will be opening up soon. And three, there's something having to do with fire because I'm really drawn to that fire. This could be symbolic of something. This could be creative passion. This could be regular passionate energy. This could be um, kind of <laughs> brings to mind something that's um, something that's burning or needs to burn in a sense of like maybe release you know do you ever do those rituals where you write something down and just like bury it or burn it or something kind of gave me that vibe so i don't know that that could have to do with what's going on here what is the advice please thank you three of coins is there a way that they can do this Whoop. So, recently, um, again, either recently or this will happen soon, you may have been guided already by either your guides or even some influence or presence in your life that tends to be very wise and very hermit-like and very calm. You may have already been guided in a particular direction. Now, the only other piece of advice, there, there, this is not even a reading that's centered on advice necessarily, because I feel like this is already in motion, actually. The only advice I'm really getting here is to, is to take that step that you were already guided towards, right? And I will get more for that for you. But it does look like you're just kind of climbing the the steps climbing the mountain you're standing up for yourself like there's something going on here where you do need to press forward so is there any best advice of how to do this or anything else and i am drawn to the ladder as well there's something about climbing up or maybe it even could be talking about ascending <clears throat> but i'm noticing this is very weird but I'm noticing in all four of these cards, there's something having to do with elevation. Here, I noticed it because the buildings are up high. Here, because it's literally a tower. Here, because of the ladder. And here, because look at how this person's standing on the branches. Something is going on with that. Um, I don't know if for some of you that could be a literal clue in some way. Maybe it's symbolic of something going on. But that is interesting to me. So... I don't know, like in a literal sense, you, you can certainly go up higher to gain clarity. I've done that before too. It's really nice. Like if you, like whether you're going hiking or one time I was like up on a gazebo thingy, um, it does help to gain some clarity, but I don't know why that was in all four cards. It's interesting. Spirit, what is the advice, please? Okay, so group four, again, they said the same thing. There is really not a lot of new advice here because this is already in motion. This is already happening. And I do feel you're open to it. I, I, I feel a strong sense 
that many of you, a good 75 to 85 percent of you are extremely wide open to this shift. The rest of you, I, I, I can't really speak for that, but this is what I'm feeling for most of you. And we have the number seven represented here twice. I don't know if that's a clue for you with something. The tower is, um, uh, is that seven as well? I can't, I can't even think right now. Um, but what I was saying with the chariot, <clears throat> with the chariot is that, uh, there's something already in motion. Okay. So I don't know how that translates to however you're feeling, but something is already going forward. Now, now going back to your first few cards, if I'm because I get lost in the messages. If I remember correctly, it was the uh, Six of Wands. We had that victory and then the Fool. I hope that that was correct in this as well. All right. So we do see the preview here of what's going to happen. I do think that some gigantic feeling of success is coming to you. And not just a feeling, but obviously, you know, it's translating into your life. And it's just... Um, it's a catalyst or it's like offsetting something next in and actually it will probably affect everything and for the rest of your life so I have no idea what this is but um it sounds really really exciting and again you've probably already been through many transformations okay for only some of you there was a clue about your situation with regard to up higher I, I don't know um that's just something I wanted to say let me know if that resonates for any of you because I want to know about that um any other advice or any other messages any other any other messages at all for group four Not really, but let's see. We have the moon. And then we have the page of wands. The page of wands, you're you're happy as a clam. Is that is that the, is that the phrase? You're you're really happy about this and <clears throat> You are just going with it. You're going with that flow. You're feeling like a child in a sense. There's like this passionate, fiery energy and you're just going with it. With the moon card, ooh. You may want to watch the video I just put out like, I don't know, it was like a week ago or something. It's the one where, yeah, it, it should be the other one, um, the, the last pick a card I did, not the other video from yesterday. Um, this is talking about psychic communication. You may, you may want to watch that one. If, uh, if you want to, if you want a message from a specific person, such as your divine counterpart or whatever, you can also look up my videos for that too. Um, but this is whoever that you want to get the message from. This is still psychic communication. So you might want to watch that because it might be relevant to this. Some Something is trying to reach you. Some psychic communication is trying to reach you. It may reach you through your dreams. It might reach you through, you know, just something within the subconscious. Um, there could be an object also that is relevant here. This is only for like a good... 25% of you, I think, a round object is relevant in this. The other day, I looked at my Black Galaxy Jasper. The It's like the black stone that I... It's like, it's really big. Um, and I used it for one of the messages, uh, pick a cards. And now I'm looking at the moon. So they're telling me that if you hold a particular object, you're going to receive some communication there. Or that round object could be relevant to whatever's going on here. So just wanted to let you know that is there any other message about anything or what psychic communication needs to reach them here spirit thank you final message for group four Whoops. well th there could have been a lot of um feeling of indecision here because there were some issues there were some trivial matters that were not quite settled yet but that is past, or that should pass, okay? Now, I want to get these as your final cards. We have here the Wheel of Fortune. Again, something round, I don't know. I'm feeling again with these animals over here. It looks again like psychic communication. They look a little angry, but we don't. I don't know about that. But um, again, I feel like some, some type of psychic communication is relevant there. And then we have the Page of Cups. We have Page of Wands and Page of Cups. I wonder if that has to do with your psychic communication there because we have fire and water. Could be. I see two people smiling at each other, exchanging words. 
there's literally words on their uh, on their card. Anyway, um, the Wheel of Fortune says everything's going to be okay. It is aligning. The wheel is turning. Things are making sense. Uh, just let the wheel turn, okay? So again, like, I'm not really sure what the advice was. I kind of completely got lost in your reading. I just lost my train of thought. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but group four, I hope this makes sense to you, okay? So you can let me know in the comments what's going on. Um, but yeah, like, just go with the flow of the wheel. Let this happen. Just uh, listen to the sign. And also, the final thing is like just stay in a positive vibration that's pretty much it everything was already set so n nothing really more has to be said there i think okay so I, I think i'll leave it there um group four thank you guys so much um again if this resonated you can let me know below um and if you want a personal reading, the link is below. And if you'd like to sign up for my How to Read Tarot class that I'm starting a virtual class in May, the link is also below. Okay, so thank you guys so much. Sending you love and blessings. And I will see you next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.